Good evening. This is All India Radio. I am Naresh Mago and with me is Abhinit Shukla with the evening news. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi transfers first installment of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Grameen of over 700 crore rupees to more than 1,47,000 beneficiaries of Tripura. President Ramnath Govind promulgates two ordinances extending tenure of CBI and ED directors for up to five years. Nation to celebrate birth anniversary of tribal freedom fighter Bhagwan Birsa Munda as Janajatiya Gaurav Devas tomorrow. Prime Minister to dedicate to the nation redeveloped Rani Kamlapati railway station at Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh. Over 112 crore doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in the country so far. Railways take steps to normalize passenger services in phased manner. Passenger reservation system to be shut down for six hours during lean business hours of night for the next seven days. Virtual registration opens for 52nd International Film Festival of India in Goa. And in cricket, Australia and New Zealand clash in the final of men's T20 World Cup in Dubai. As India created history by administering over 100 crore vaccine doses against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the doctors, nurses, other frontline workers and all those who got vaccinated and made this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that the battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners to get fully vaccinated at the earliest and also help others get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain dogas ki dori for social distancing and focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact the National Healthline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today transferred the first installment of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Grameen PMAYG to more than 1,47,000 beneficiaries of Tripura through video conferencing. More than 700 crore rupees were credited directly to the bank accounts of the beneficiaries on the occasion. Following Prime Minister's intervention, Taking into account the unique geoclimatic condition of Tripura, the definition of Kacha House has been changed specifically for the state, which has enabled such a large number of beneficiaries living in Kacha Houses to get assistance to construct a Pakka House. Addressing the gathering, the Prime Minister said, the first installment of PMAYG has given new impetus to the dreams of Tripura and the entire Northeast region is witnessing change. Ajamara Tripura और समूचा पूर्वोत्तर ऐसे ही बदलाव का साक्षी बन रहा है आज प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना के तहत दी गई पहली किस्त ने त्रिपुरा के सपनों को भी नया हौसला दिया है मैं पहली किस्त का लाभ पाने वाले करीब करीब डेढ़ लाख परिवारों को सभी त्रिपुरा वासियों को हृदय से बधाई देता हूं The Prime Minister said the double-engine government is engaged in the development of Tripura with full force and sincerity. Talking about the long-prevailing neglect of the Northeast region, the Prime Minister said now the region's huge potential is being unleashed by creating modern infrastructure and improving connectivity. He expressed confidence that work being done in the region will take the country to new heights of growth. The Prime Minister singled out India's confident Nari Shakti for their human contribution in the development of the country. Talking about the increasing ease of living, the Prime Minister said, now the government itself comes to people to provide all services and facilities. Our goal is this, that every country of our country should get its rights without any problem. No one has no problem. What was the first thing? That no one has no problem to reach the real estate. No one has no problem to reach the real estate. We have tried to change it to change it. और जागरूक नागरिकों की मदद से हमें इसमें बहुत सफलता भी मिली है टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ ट्राइबल फ्रीडम फाइटर्स इन द कंट्रीज फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल द प्राइम मिनिस्टर सेड द कंट्री विल नाउ सेलिब्रेट द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ भगवान बिरसा मुंडा एवरी ईयर ऑन 15 नवंबर एज जनजातीय गौरव दिवस 
पूर्वोत्तर के आदिवासी सेनानियों ने और देश के भी हमारे आदिवासी सेनानियों ने देश के लिए अपना बलिदान दिया है इस परंपरा को सम्मान देने के लिए इस विरासत को आगे बढ़ाने के लिए देश लगातार काम कर रहा है इसी कड़ी में आजादी के अमृत महोत्सव के दौरान देश ने एक बहुत बड़ा फैसला लिया है अब 15 नवंबर को हर साल भगवान बिरसा मुंडा की जन्म जयंती को जनजातीय गौरव दिवस के रूप में मनाया जाएगा The Prime Minister also lauded the state government for their efforts in completing vaccination of people above 45 years of age and becoming the first state to set the benchmark for all. He expressed hope that those above 18 would also complete their vaccination on time. 45 साल से ऊपर की उम्र के लोगों में पूरा शत प्रतिशत वैक्सीनेशन करने का रिकॉर्ड सबसे पहले त्रिपुरा ने ही बनाया था और अब त्रिपुरा 18 साल से ऊपर की पूरी आबादी के भी शत प्रतिशत टीकाकरण के करीब है मिस्टर मोदी ऑल्सो इंटरेक्टेड विद द बेनिफिशरीज हु थैंक द प्राइम मिनिस्टर फॉर फेसिलिटेटिंग पक्का हाउसेज टू ऑल बेनिफिशरीज स्पीकिंग ऑन द ओकेजन त्रिपुरा चीफ मिनिस्टर बिप्लब कुमार देव सेड अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी त्रिपुरा हैज बीन अवॉर्डेड एज द बेस्ट परफॉर्मिंग स्टेट अंडर पी एम ए वाई अर्बन इन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट The nation will celebrate birth anniversary of tribal freedom fighter Bhagwan Bir Samunda as Janjatiya Gaurav Divas tomorrow. To mark the occasion, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate Bhagwan Bir Samunda Smriti Udyan Sri Swatantrata Senani Sangrahalay at Ranchi in Jharkhand tomorrow at 9:45 a.m. through video conferencing. Union Tribal Affairs Minister Arjun Munda will also be present during the event. Speaking to AIR News ahead of the event, the minister said that the event is aimed at reliving recollecting and recalling the contribution of tribal leaders in the freedom movement 15 नवंबर को जनजातीय गौरव दिवस मनाने के लिए केंद्रीय मंत्रिमंडल ने आदरणीय यशस्वी प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र भाई मोदी के नेतृत्व में यह फैसला किया है कि हम राष्ट्र भर में विभिन्न स्थानों पर समय समय पर स्वतंत्रता के लिए युद्ध किए हैं संघर्ष किए हैं महानायक के रूप में अपने आप को न्यौछावर किए हैं वैसे लोगों के प्रति सम्मान देने के दृष्टि से और आदिवासी जनजातीय समुदाय को गौरव महसूस हो इस दृष्टि से एक तिथि निर्धारित की गई है 15 नवंबर जिसमें हर साल 15 नवंबर को हम जनजाति गौरव दिवस मनाएंगे द इंटरव्यू ऑफ द यूनियन मिनिस्टर अर्जुन मुंडा विल बी ब्रॉडकास्ट इन द प्रोग्राम स्पॉटलाइट टुडे एट 9:15 पीएम ऑन एफएम गोल्ड इट कैन आल्सो बी हर्ड ऑन न्यूज़ ऑन एआईआर मोबाइल ऐप एंड न्यूज़ ऑन एआईआर ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ ट्राइबल अफेयर्स हैज सो फार सैंक्शनड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ 10 ट्राइबल फ्रीडम फाइटर म्यूजियम्स दीज म्यूजियम्स विल चेरिश द मेमोरीज ऑफ ट्राइबल फ्रीडम फाइटर्स from various states and regions bhagwan be samunda smriti udyan se swatantrata senani sangrahalay has been built in association with the jharkhand government at the old central jail in rachi where bhagwan be samunda had sacrificed his life on the occasion the prime minister will visit madhya pradesh tomorrow to participate in janjatiya gaurav divas mahasammelan at jamburi maidan in bhopal where he will launch multiple initiatives for the welfare of the janjatiya community at around 1 pm More from our Bhopal correspondent. Prime Minister will also launch Sickle Cell Eradication Mission and Ration Aapki Dwar Yojana in the state at the Mahasammelan. Programs will be held in every tribal-dominated gram panchayat of the state. Tributes will also be paid to tribal heroes for their contribution in the freedom struggle. All the tribes of the state, like Gond, Baiga, Bhil, Korku, Saharia, Kol, will participate in the program. This program will depict the traditional dress, culture, life values of the tribes. Products of self-help groups of tribal community. will be displayed on the vocal for local team about 2 lakh people from different tribes will participate while about 1 crore tribals will be connected to the program through webcast pooja pivardhan air news bhopal during his visit to madhya pradesh the prime minister will also inaugurate the redeveloped rani kamlapati railway station tomorrow around 3 pm rani kamlapati railway station named after brave and fearless queen kamlapati of the gond kingdom is the first world class railway station in madhya pradesh redeveloped in the public private partnership ppp mode the station has been designed as a green building with modern world class amenities that also takes into account the ease of mobility for divyangjans during the event mr modi will also dedicate to the nation multiple initiatives of the railways in madhya pradesh 
President Ramnath Kovind today promulgated two ordinances to extend the tenure of directors of probe agencies, Central Bureau of Investigation and Enforcement Directorate up to five years. The ordinances are the Central Vigilance Commission Amendment Ordinance 2021 and the Delhi Special Police Establishment Amendment Ordinance 2021. As per the ordinances, the chiefs of the top agencies can be given extensions every year for up to three years after they complete the two-year term. The ordinance is said no such extension will be granted after the completion of a period of five years in total, including the period mentioned in the initial appointment. The present tenure of the chiefs of the central agencies is two years. You are listening to the evening news on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Prime Minister Narendra Modi transfers first instalment of Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana Grameen of over 700 crore rupees to more than 1,47,000 beneficiaries of Tripura. President Ramnath Kovind promulgates two ordinances extending tenure of CBI and ED directors for up to five years. Nation to celebrate birth anniversary of tribal freedom fighter Bhagwan Bir Samunda as Janjati Gaurav Devas tomorrow. Prime Minister to dedicate to the nation redeveloped Rani Kamlapati railway station at Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh tomorrow. Over 112 crore doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in the country so far. Railways take steps to normalize passenger services in phased manner. Passenger reservation system to be shut down for six hours during lean business hours of night for next seven days. Virtual registration opens for 52nd International Swim Festival of India in Goa. And in cricket, Australia and New Zealand clash in the final of Men's T20 World Cup in Dubai. For quick news updates round the clock, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. Over 112 crore 1 lakh COVID-19 vaccine doses have been administered in the country so far under the nationwide vaccination drive. Meanwhile, over 11,000 new COVID-19 cases were reported in the country in the last 24 hours, while more than 11,376 people have recovered. The Union Health Ministry said the COVID recovery rate in the country now stands at 98.26%, which is the highest since March last year. The Ministry of Railways has said that as a part of its efforts to normalize passenger services and revert in a phased manner to the pre-COVID levels of service, the Railways Passenger Reservation System, PRS, will be shut down for six hours during the lean business hours of the night for the next seven days. The activity will be performed starting tonight and will continue till the intervening night of 20th and 21st November. It will start at 11.30 p.m. and end at 5.30 a.m. The ministry said during these six hours from 11.30 p.m. to 5.30 a.m., no PRS services, ticket reservation, current booking, cancellation, inquiry services, etc. will be available. The Commission for Air Quality Management in the National Capital Region and Adjoining Areas, CAQM, convened a crucial meeting on an emergent basis today in wake of the deteriorating air quality of the Delhi NCR region. It has asked states and concerned agencies to be in complete readiness for implementing emergency measures as listed under Graded Response Action Plan. The adverse air quality scenario in Delhi NCR is a combined result of paddy stubble burning, vehicular pollution, post-Diwali pollution, dip in temperature and other local factors, was also greatly impacted by a dust storm moving in from the southwesterly direction of the Thar Desert, which brought in huge quantities of dust that further amplified the PM2.5 and PM10 levels significantly. Considering all different aspects causing a spike in the air pollution levels, the Commission during the meeting reiterated that the actions recommended by the orders of the subcommittee shall be strictly implemented by the states. In Kerala, widespread rain continues to disturb normal life in central and southern parts of the state. Red alert is issued in Ernakulam, Iduki and Trisur districts. We have a report. One death was reported today in a landslide in Kalamashiri in Ernagulam. Over 2,000 people were shifted to various relief camps across the state. Authorities declared holiday for all education institutions in Nalapura district tomorrow as many low-lying areas are flooded. The shutters of Idiki Dam opened today and high alert is issued in the Periyar River Bank. 
Night travel to Idiki district is banned. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan urged the public to remain alert as heavy rains are predicted in the state for the next three days. Chief Minister further said that the number of pilgrims in Shabrimala Temple will be restricted for the next three to four days in view of heavy rains. Bathing at Pamba River is also not allowed. Currently, three teams of the National Disaster Response Force are deployed in the state. Four more teams will arrive tomorrow. Mayusha for AR News from Tiruvannathapuram. The Maharashtra government has decided to give award to all the police personnel involved in yesterday's Naxal encounter in the district. 26 Naxalites were killed in an encounter with police at Garchiroli district last evening. Guardian Minister of Maharashtra's Garchiroli district, Ek Nath Shinde, today stated that it was one of the major anti-Naxal operations in the last few days in which 26 Naxalites, including Milindatel Tumte, a member of the Maoist Central Zone Committee, were killed. He congratulated Garchiroli Superintendent of Police, Ankit Goel, and C-60 Commandos. Mr. Shinde said, the state government has taken concrete steps for the overall development of Garchiroli and the district is moving away from the influence of Naxals towards the mainstream of development. The minister also clarified that 10 crore rupees has been allocated for the rehabilitation of surrendering Naxalites. Our correspondent has filed this report. Milin Baburao Til Tumbade was the Central Committee member of the Communist Party of India Mois and in charge of the newly formed Maharashtra Madhya Pradesh Chhattisgarh Confluence Zone of the Outlaws. He has been active in the Naxal movement for the last 30 years. He has been named as the wanted accused in several cases of left-wing extremists in the central part of India. He is also named as one of the main conspirators of the Elgar Parishad case investigated by the National Investigation Agency. Out of 26 Naxalites killed, 16 have been identified. Nivedita, AIR News, Mumbai. Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goel today said the initiative of the India International Trade Fair IITF is reflective of the resilience of the Indian economy bouncing back. Mr. Goyal was speaking after inaugurating the 40th IITF in New Delhi today. The minister said the trade fair, which is one of the finest in country's largest convention centers, will come up in Pragati Maidan complex. Mr. Goyal said today's launch of this trade fair reflects the five sutras of Indian economy. In economy, exports, infrastructure, demand and diversity. I can very proudly say that the India International Exhibition and Convention Center being developed in Pragati Medan will be amongst the best in the world and will truly attract a lot of attention, a lot of huge trade fairs coming up in the years to come also and will become a unique symbol reflecting the growing strength and vibrancy of a new India. In fact, uh, I do believe Pragati Medan will be scripting a new chapter in the growth story of India. Theme of this year's fair is Atmanirbhar Bharat. The fair will continue till the 27th of this month. The annual event, which witnesses a record footfall, was not held last year due to the COVID-19 outbreak. Bihar is the partner state, whereas Uttar Pradesh and Jharkhand are the focus states. The biggest ever Dubai air show began at Al Maktoum International Airport today with more than 1,200 exhibitors taking part in the five-day event. The show also features more than 160 of the world's most advanced aircraft on the ground and in the air. An Indian Air Force contingent is also taking part in the air show following an invitation by the government of UAE to participate with the Sarang and Surikiran aerobatics teams. The virtual registrations for India's biggest film festival, the 52nd International Film Festival of India, are now open. Filmmakers and film enthusiasts can visit the portals ifigoa.org and dff.gov.in for registrations. Nine-day-long 52nd International Film Festival of India will begin on the 20th of this month in Goa. Vice President M. Venkaiya Naidu and Prime Minister Narendra Modi pay tributes to former Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru on his birth anniversary today. The Vice President said that Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru will always be remembered for his contribution to building a modern India. In a tweet, the Prime Minister said, Tributes to Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru ji on his birth anniversary. Children's Day is also being celebrated today. It is celebrated on the 14th of November every year on the birth anniversary of the first Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. 
बेस्ट विशेष टू ऑल कंज्यूमर्स फॉर आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव हॉल मार्क इंश्योर्स प्योरिटी ऑफ गोल्ड ऑलवेज परचेज हॉल मार्क्ड गोल्ड ज्वेलरी फॉर एनी कंज्यूमर रिलेटेड कंप्लेन्स प्लीज कॉन्टैक्ट नेशनल कंज्यूमर हेल्पलाइन टोल फ्री नंबर वन फोर फोर इन पब्लिक इंटरेस्ट बाई डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंज्यूमर अफेयर्स गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया जागो ग्राहक जागो As our nation celebrates the 75th year of independence a series of events is being organized by the government as a part of Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav now let's listen to our special program Azadi ka safar highlighting the importance of the day during the freedom struggle Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ अ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हैज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे जवाहरलाल नेहरू फर्स्ट प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया was born on November the 14th 1889 at Allahabad after getting educated at home until the age of 16 Nehru went to Harrow a leading English school where he stayed for 2 years from Harrow he went to Trinity College Cambridge on leaving Cambridge he qualified as a barrister after 2 years at the Inner Temple London on his return to India Nehru at first tried to settle down as a lawyer but He was an unsuccessful attorney until he met Mahatma he was not interested in anything Jawaharlal was attracted by Gandhi's insistence to fight against the British rule of India without fear or hate Nehru's role in Indian politics was secondary until he was elected president of the Congress party in 1929 when he presided over the historic session at Lahore that proclaimed complete independence as India's political goal Nehru was one of the principal leaders of India's independence movement in the 1930s and 40s From the year 1921 to 1945 he served eight periods of detention totaling 9 years in jail post independence Jawaharlal was elected to assume office as independent India's first prime minister Long years ago we made it fit with destiny and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge not wholly or in full measure but very substantially at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps india will awake to life and freedom as the prime minister of the new republic nehru contributed immensely towards building a democratic polity planned economy and industrial development He also focused on high education institutions and far-sighted policies in developing space technology and atomic energy. He served as the prime minister for 18 years, first as the interim prime minister and from 1950 as the prime minister of the Republic of India. Nehru also became noted for his neutralist, non-aligned policies in foreign affairs. Jawaharlal Nehru passed away on 27th of May 1964. a widely admired author his books written in prison such as letters from a father to his daughter an autobiography and the discovery of india 1946 are still read around the world marathwada public leader anant rao bhale rao was born on 14th of november 1918 in aurangabad maharashtra fondly known as anna He was a journalist who lived a valued life. He jumped into the Hyderabad liberation struggle movement at a young age for which he was imprisoned. In 1944 he started an agitation against the Nizam government's compulsion to recover levies. Anant Rao along with Vagh Mare edited the newspaper Marathwada. Anant Rao took the role of protecting the rights of the people by presenting the complaints of the people in the Marathwada newspaper and exposing the injustice done to them. 
The paper was banned in the state of Hyderabad. On 15th of August 1947, a call was made to carry out Satyagraha by hoisting tricolor flags in homes and public places. This led to a scuffle with the Nizam's armed police. Anant Rao had led all these battles. With the ending of Nizam's rule in 1948, Marathwada was relaunched. Anna also had to go to the Nasik jail once again during the emergency in 1975. Anant Rao died on the 26th of October 1995. He is remembered as a great public leader and nationalist journalist even today. Fourteenth of November is also the birth anniversary of Pilu Modi. Modi was an architect and politician, and one of the founding members of the Swatantra Party. He was educated at the Doon School, Dehradun, and the University of California, Berkeley. From where he graduated with a master's degree in architecture. In political life, Modi was an advocate of liberalism and freedom. In 1967, he was elected to the fourth Lok Sabha, representing the Godhara constituency in Gujarat. In 1971, he was re-elected and served in the fifth Lok Sabha until March 1977. In 1975, at the time of the emergency in India, Modi was imprisoned. On the 10th of April 1978, Modi was elected to the Rajya Sabha and served there until his death in 1983. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar AIR News Ke Sang. See you in the next episode tomorrow. To commemorate the occasion as a Jan Utsav, All India Radio News brings its listeners a special quiz on India's freedom movement and its glorious history. The quiz is being conducted every Monday and Tuesday in Morning News. India Post has joined hands as a logistics partner with All India Radio News for the Amrit Mahotsav quiz. Listeners can send their responses to the question over WhatsApp on double eight two six five four six two six two or through email on Amrit Mahotsav quiz at prasarbharati dot gov dot in. The next question of Amrit Mahotsav quiz will be shared with listeners tomorrow. The name of the winner will be announced in the morning news the next day. Winner will be awarded an e-certificate and a token prize. In ICC Men's T20 Cricket World Cup title clash, New Zealand were 148 for four in 17.4 overs against Australia in Dubai when reports last came in. Earlier, Australian skipper Aaron Finch won the toss and elected to bowl first. Australia are playing with an unchanged side, while New Zealand have replaced Devon Conway with Tim Seifert. Now let's take a look at the weather forecast for tomorrow. The national capital Delhi will have shallow fog. Mumbai and Chennai will have partly cloudy sky. Kolkata will have a generally cloudy sky with a few spells of rain or thunder showers. Jammu, Srinagar, Leh, Gilgit and Muzaffarabad will have mainly clear sky. Visakhapatnam and Tiruvannamalai will have generally cloudy sky with one or two spells of rain or thunder showers. In Puducherry there will be a partly cloudy sky. In the northeast, Guwahati will have fog in the morning and mainly clear sky later. Imphal will have generally cloudy sky with light rain. Shillong and Aizawl will witness cloudy skies. Temperature will hover between 9 and 21 degrees Celsius. Kohima, Itanagar and Gangtok will have mainly clear sky and Agartala will have generally cloudy sky with light rain. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi transfers first instalment of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Gramin of over 700 crore rupees to more than 147,000 beneficiaries of Tripura. President Ramnath Govind promulgates two ordinances extending tenure of CBI and ED directors for up to 5 years. Nation to celebrate birth anniversary of tribal freedom fighter Bhagwan Birsa Munda as Janjatiya Gaurav Divas tomorrow. Prime Minister to dedicate to the nation redeveloped Rani Kamlapati railway station at Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh tomorrow. Over 112 crore doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in the country so far. Railways take steps to normalize passenger services in phased manner. Passenger reservation system to be shut down for six hours during lean business hours of night for the next seven days. Virtual registration opens for 52nd International Film Festival of India in Goa. And in cricket, Australia and New Zealand clash in the final of men's T20 World Cup in Dubai. And with that, we end the evening news. Good night.